In this tutorial, we're going to examine a variety of ways in which we can use the Natural Products Atlas to dereplicate structures on the basis of spectral data. There are a range of ways in which you can do this. Uh, we're going to start here in the basic search page using the structure drawing tool. So we can imagine that you might have identified a substructure based on NMR analysis and that that substructure might contain a component perhaps which looks like this. Just going to draw this in. And with this unusual little terminus, even though you don't know what the R group is which would extend from this position, it's possible to use this information with a substructure selection in order to find all of the other molecules in the atlas which have this kind of connectivity. So if we submit this simple query, the atlas returns 38 possible hits. And if we look at the, the first in the list here, we can see that it does indeed contain the functional group which we would expect. However, 38 is still quite a few um, candidates to compare between. Um, so we can further refine this using a variety of uh, characteristics from this compound characteristics section. So we might, for example, know from the mass spectrometry data that the molecular weight is perhaps at least 260. And if we submit this uh, additional requirement, then the number of responses we get reduces from 38 to 23. We might also know, for example, from high resolution mass spec data that the formula doesn't contain certain elements. So perhaps we know that this molecule does not contain any nitrogen. And so we can select the number of nitrogens to be precisely zero. And if we submit this refinement, we find the number of candidates goes down from 23 now to just 15. Um, of course, one could choose to just now evaluate these manually. However, there are other filters that you can apply. Uh, in particular, you can use the source organism type filter. Uh, we found this to be a very effective way of cutting down the number of candidates very quickly. Um, and this cuts uh, the data uh, into, into chunks based on uh, whether they are bacterial or fungal in origin. So if we choose bacteria as the source organism and we resubmit this, now the number of possible candidates has been reduced to only two. And one would then go to the individual compound pages and from them to the original isolation papers to get comparative uh, spectral data against which to compare uh, your, the data from which you've made these assignments. So hopefully this gives you a view of how, uh, very briefly, how you might use the Atlas in different ways in order to um, compare against experimental data that you have acquired. It's of course not the only way in which you can explore these data. There are other options here, such as accurate mass, which you can uh, apply as a lone filter if that's the only information you have, um, and uh, a variety of other tools on the advanced search page as well. So uh, we hope you'll find this useful and that, uh, and that this will be helpful in your natural products discovery.